hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is raisa and i'm coming to this video today to just provide an update following the video i just made about the international student study permit so we basically have learned that the immigration minister um mark miller he actually put up some changes for the international student st study permit as far as is concerned after the announcement was made and attestation letters were were mentioned or they became a thing IRCC they made it known that you cannot submit any application for a study permit without an attestation letter. So hear me. When this news was passed, the following day, Magnilla mentioned what attestation letters were, and this this are this is a document that the school or the university that you're applying to is going to provide, it's going to give you so you can submit your application for a study permit with an attestation letter. In a nutshell, IRCC made it known that all study permits have to be submitted with an attestation letter alongside. So there was a follow-up from this news that there are some people who are going to be exempt from these attestation letters. And the category of people that are exempt from these letters are minor children that are applying to study in, in a secondary school or a primary school. Primary school that's from kindergarten to grade 12. That's what the that's the first group of people the second group of people are students who are applying for a master's program a phd program or any postgraduate program the third category of people is any student that's applying to extend their study permit that means you're already here so i don't know if that's including priority in canada before this news was made or something i don't know i'll have to check on that um so on january 31st that's yesterday today's february 1st that was just um, January 31st yesterday. And they updated their website stating that postgraduate diplomas are no longer exempt from this category. So if you're coming to, if you want, if you're applying to study a postgraduate diploma, a postgraduate certificate, you will now need to provide an attestation letter. And that's what I've been saying, guys. Like every day, there's something that is changing. Something is changing back and forth, back and forth. So that's another update. I wanted to let you guys know. So yeah, you need an attestation, an attestation letter if you want to study a diploma program or certificate program as well. Okay, we we'll put an undergraduate program. So that's the next. That's the other group of people. This is it. So I was just bringing this news to you guys just to update you on the latest, um, on the latest news that followed after this my after the video I shot about international students study permits reduction. So if so, in a nutshell. While we're waiting for a attestation letter, because they're they are still working on these attestation letters and they'll be ready March 31st, like I said previously in my other video. If you haven't watched that video, you can head over there and watch it, okay? So you can understand or get context of what I'm talking about. So while you're waiting for, for your attestation letter, it is best that you should just, you know, get your documents ready, get your application ready, so that whenever the school sends you your attestation letter, all you need to do is you just upload it to the website and then click submit and you're done. So get your thing, get your things ready so that you're not caught off, you're not, you're not caught off guard. You don't waste too much time or for your application. Yeah, I hope that this makes sense. I just wanted to come and update you guys about it. Let's be listening for more updates because I don't know what's going to come out next from this thing that immigration is coming up is is um coming up with almost every day but we're here to see how it's going to unfold i hope that it's going to be some tweaks here and there that's going to be favorable for <laughs> students in one way or the other but i really don't see it happening because it's getting more stringent by the day well that's it you guys i hope um you're working on your applications don't give up you must still stand a chance just make sure that you're you're, you're applying early for your applications if you're already this is um or in february so if this if it is may intake or april intake it's already late now you don't want to start applying now because it will just cut you out of it what you need to be aiming for you start aiming for something like fall or january of the, of the next year even of 2025 that's what i'll even say start aiming for those kind of fall and winter of that of that period so that you have enough time do you understand to apply for all of these things so that they will consider you among amongst the 360 something thousand so the permits are going to be issued yeah so just take your time to apply and everything submit every document check all the boxes make sure that you're thorough with your application so you don't have to miss anything make sure that if the school is up asking for this is great you have it you know even if you want to be an exception you want them to accept you or something back it up with something back it up with some 
some maybe letter and attachment to explain one or two things do you understand just make it that way if you want to be considered because there's no magic that anybody can do if you don't have it you don't have it if you don't get it you don't get it i wish you guys all the best all of you that are applying all of you that are, you know that are looking for ways in one or the other okay let's talk about the post i put up on my of my community tab if you're not following my for community tab at least i've been posting there lately to ask about you guys thoughts and see where your head is at concerning some of these posts and for the form of these posts i've been making okay yeah so i just wanted to thank all of you guys because i put up a post saying that asking if my channel has helped you grow come to canada or are you just here for the entertainment of the vlogs or it does not help you at all like you should let me know in the comment section on my community tab and some people actually have come to canada yes i know i've i've made videos saying that welcoming some people because they dm'd me on instagram saying that they're already here in canada and all of that blah, blah 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 so i'm happy for you guys thank you guys so much and i'm happy that i was able to impact you in that way so let's keep up let's keep going let's keep helping one another drop a comment for someone who is struggling who is still back home and is trying to find one way or the other because you guys now have the updates especially those who have those who came through those who are watching me and they said they came here after watching my videos and other that so now it's your turn to help i see them on tiktok i see some people on tiktok that like, I, I think i jumped on one life and somebody was like oh my god i need to stop this my video and thank risa like they actually recognized when i came in that's a bad boy i think that's his last name on, on tiktok he actually mentioned i was like wow i was like that's good because he gave credit you know and it's nice to know it's nice to know that when i even hopped on there he was like oh you guys have seen somebody that i know and that was me i was like no i was feeling like celeb <laughs> i was feeling like a celeb <laughs> but yeah it was good to know honestly it's a good feeling it's like it's like wow i'm actually doing something out there for somebody even if it's just one person it means a lot or two people it means a lot so thank you guys so much for trusting and for listening to me i was always just doing my own my own doing things my own way because i was in your vibe then right <laughs> Because I was in your vibe then, right? So I was just doing this out of my experience. Now that I'm no longer in school, um, it's a bit here and there, you know. But you guys are the ones that are now helping other people, and I'm happy to see that you guys are doing well. Okay, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in my baby is just here. He's he's making noise. <laughs> you want to say hi? Yeah. Don't climb, no. Oh. Don't climb. No climbing. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. Um, please do make sure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Cause you guys watch. I see that you guys are watching, but you are not subscribing. Please subscribe. Like the video because the more you like it, the more YouTube recommends for other people to watch, and that's how people are going to get updated information. Okay. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.